Well, we start again now. We, we, this is the start of the next nine and a half, ten months worth of football. So, um, uh, just drew your Wolves 1-1. Uh, uh, competitive hard game that one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, obviously, they're a league above opposition. Um, I thought we went, put a good account of ourselves across. Um, I think first half there was little in it. Um, we had a couple of chances. Uh, they had a couple of chances. Um, I thought we pressed them really well. Um, but we were really good off the ball. Um, we, we didn't deal with the long ball potentially very well um, in part, but I thought I thought we looked I thought we looked okay. Um, I thought we were good account of ourselves first half. Um, obviously coming in at nil nil. Second half, uh, obviously we, we started off really well. Um, obviously got the goal. Um, great work from from Cam down in the corner across it in, and then a good finish from the other Cam. Um, so started really well, and then I thought we went flat for the last 20-25 minutes, and we probably quite rightly conceded a goal um, and then we probably should have conceded some more actually at the end I think it was a bit flat and I just said that to the boys so certainly a learning curve we've got to go all the way to the end haven't we um, but completely two new teams two two 11s 45 minutes each um, so seen a lot of different players a lot of players haven't played together before so largely very pleased with the result I mean league above thought we did thought we did quite well so yeah, yeah I, they, they looked like a strong side they were getting stronger towards the end but mm. You know, there's a lot to take from it. There's a lot of new young players here. So, oh, yeah, so, so how, how are things changing off the field? Um, so we've, I mean, something I've been keen on on getting in. We've had we've had um, we've we've had a bit of a, an influx of junior teams. Um, the thing I was most keen for was the was the floodlit under 18s team, which which we've got in, um, coupled with obviously we've got an under 16s team and under 15s team now, which is which is fantastic. So. Um, got a, like a real pathway there, a real feeder three, which is good. Um, the under 18s, lads, we had five of them play tonight, um, and they've, they've, they've really bolstered us in pre season. They've been absolutely excellent. So um, we've got Harley coming in there, um, played left back tonight, played right wing on Saturday, was very good. Um, Charlie and Mario um, come in, both midfielders, both played very well for us, both again 16 years old. So um, outstanding, really, to be playing that in a men's game, same as Harley. And then obviously, we've got Will and Jack from last year who, who like, he. <laughs> You think they're not even new young players anymore, but they're both still, when you think about it, only 17. So the, the, the future of the club is bright. We've got some outstanding young talent um, and I'm really pleased with, with what, what we've got in and, and the systems that we've got in place now for the, for the juniors, obviously feeding into the under-21. So really pleased with that. Um, and, and we've signed another young player, Morgan, uh, Morgan Payne, who I, I know quite well, and, and we've signed him from Stafford Town. So really pleased to get him on the ball. I think tonight he, he played out there like he was 22, 23 years old, and really he's only 18. So um, again, I'm delighted with that. Good in as his midfield, and he can play wide up front. So he's another good utility versus versatile player for us. So delighted to have him on board as well. Yeah, it builds a lot of energy in the team, doesn't it? Certainly. And and you know keeps the. I'd like to say senior pros, but you, you think of Kenny as a senior pro and he's, what, 26, 27 or something? It's yeah. ridiculous. Um, well, Kenny's our oldest player and he is 27. So yeah, it's, exactly. And, might and, be 26, might kill and, and, that, Yeah, to be fair, it, it does feel like Kenny's been here forever. Um, but, you, you know, at 27, you're thinking that's our oldest player. And, and so the, the future does look bright, doesn't it, really? Absolutely. We've got a good young squad. Um, and really, we've got competition places all over the pitch now. There's no really anybody who's a given. Um, to get in, we've got competition everywhere. We've got four centre backs, we've got lots of full backs, we've got, we've got five, six centre midfielders now. We've got competition out wide, two strikers. So I'm really, really pleased with the squad that we've got in. And, and obviously, we had young Jonty playing goal for us on Saturday as well, we which did, yeah. he did a good account of himself. So, um, no, that's got lots of competition and it's, it looks really future looks really bright so I'm pleased with it yeah and on to Saturday now another, yeah. another big test yeah yeah Warsaw Wood um, I think I've tried to get all of our friendlies really against um, opposition in the league above um, or or higher than that or, or obviously we played Warsaw on Saturday but that's 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 irrelevant really I mean from now on we're playing teams in the league above so yeah another test uh, Warsaw Wood um, they came down here and give us give us a give us a bit of a hiding didn't they earlier on last season yeah, yeah. Um, so I think we need to, we need to put a better, better account of ourselves across um, than what we did the other day so yeah I'm looking forward to that one and um, it'll be nice to see Harry and things like that from Warsaw so yeah I'm looking forward to it Brilliant cheers Al thank, thank you, you.